Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video, and we talk about some newly shown Marvel Legends figures from San Diego Comic Con 2019. I'm very excited to see these here, and we have a new Marvel Legends wave. Um, this is a 100% movie wave, which is great. Um, I really prefer the movie figures. I like comic figures, but I prefer the movie ones. Uh, so we do have. So now we have an entire movie wave, which is not the first time that's happened. We did just get one recently with a Kill Mo or with a um, Black Panther wave. Uh, that was all movie, but now we have our first all wave of, or oh, sorry, all movie wave from Endgame. Basically, a lot of the figures in this set are not from Endgame. Uh, to be honest, a lot of them are like Infinity War, um, but some of them are specifically Endgame, which is very cool. So I'm very excited to see this wave. I have mixed feelings about this wave. I like it. I don't love it though. Like I feel like th I, they could have chose a few better characters, but for the most part, there's nobody in this wave that I hate. Um, so. Overall, I am pretty happy about it. So let's get started, character by character. We'll start with Valkyrie. Um, this is quite nice. Not our first Valkyrie figure from Marvel Legends. We did get one for Thor Ragnarok. However, it was in her um, kind of scavenger almost looking costume, uh, which is definitely not what I think any of us would have preferred. Um, this uh, Valkyrie style costume is much better in, in my opinion, I think everyone's opinion. And not to mention she used it for the end battle of uh, Thor Ragnarok as well as for the end battle of Endgame. So. I think that this uh, costume looks better and gets better screen time, so this is definitely one that I'm very excited about uh, them doing. I think the detail in it does look quite nice, head sculpt looks quite good as well, um, but you get a lot of little intricate details uh, throughout the white areas, which looks great, so I am quite happy about this. Next up we get Heimdall. Um, this is the character that I'm like... I mean, hey, it's cool that we get a Heimdall figure, but out of out of all the characters they could have done, I don't really need Heimdall. And if I want a Heimdall figure, I want it from the first Thors. Uh, like Thor 1 and Thor 2, his kind of on-the-run uh, look has never been something that I've really liked so much. I mean, it's okay, but it, it doesn't really matter. I much prefer the way that he looked in the first couple of movies with the helmet and everything. That was a lot more heimdall uh, to me than this is. Um, it's it's an alright looking figure. The face sculpt is okay. You see a bit of resemblance to Idris Elba. However, I don't think it's a great head sculpt. I think it's a little wide, to be honest. Um, and then it's a little hard to see how the figure looks underneath the cape, because the cape is so big. Uh, I don't know if he'll look good without the cape or not. Um, but he looks okay. I, again, like I think that his spot in this wave could have been replaced with a lot of other characters that I would have much preferred to see, and I think most people would have as well. And then we have an Avengers 1, uh, but Endgame version uh, Captain America. Um, so this is an interesting one. They have done this figure before. Uh, it was released when that movie was released. However, I do think that this is a new sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's a new sculpt at least. I'm a little confused as to how they have this thing set up. I mean, it's very funny that they have it uh, facing the back and looking over his shoulder um, to, you know, just add more commentary on the America's ass uh, joke from the movie. So I, I like that, but I just, I don't understand the, the star here in the middle it should be on his chest, however the arms are facing the right way, so did they just pop the torso on? backwards accidentally. I don't really know what actually happened because it's not even like the body's just uh, rotated uh, because then the arms would be the opposite uh, uh, direction. So uh, I, I just, I don't know because like the thumbs are in the right spot for him to be facing the other way. However, the chest is clearly facing us so that doesn't make any sense. A uh, figure looks okay though. Um, I do think that it is improved uh, to some degree. I don't think it's like a huge improvement though over the original one. Not one that I really needed because as I have the original, but I think there's it's been so long since that one came out and it was a Walmart exclusive, a little harder to get. I think that a lot of people missed out on it, so therefore it'll be nice for anybody who doesn't have it to have the chance to get it. And this isn't a very this is a very appropriate time for it to come out, of course. Um, I would have really liked a secondary head sculpt though uh, with an unmasked version, so that would promote people uh, buying two and having one masked, one unmasked, so you can kind of recreate the fight sequence uh, of future and, and past Captain America. I think that would have been really cool. Then next up we have the Build-A-Figure. Now I have really mixed feelings about this one to be honest. I'm, um, I like 
getting this version of Thor, but I don't think it's the best version of Thor, and I don't know how I feel about it being the Build-A-Figure. Um, as far as uh, size-wise, he's obviously a little bit bigger than your average figure in the wave, but he's not any bigger than the Iron Patriot, so it's it's not like you're getting a ton of... Uh, he's not big enough to be a Build-A-Figure, in my opinion. Um, he's a nice enough looking figure, but he's just he's not big enough to be a Build-A-Figure. I prefer the Build-A-Figures to be substantially larger, you know? Like, Molten Man was a great Build-A-Figure for the Spider-Man wave, much larger, but not like insane where it would have been difficult for them to make. Um, so for this one, like this is a cool figure. I'm glad to get it, but I don't really want it as a build a figure. And then uh, secondary, I, although I like the kind of Big Lebowski styled Thor look, it was very funny in the movie. If I want to, you know, to get a Thor from Endgame, I really want the end uh, uh, version. Obviously, that's the much cooler one. That's his his big new look. You know, this was more of a, a funny gag, which was good. I like. I actually, I thought Thor was extremely funny in this movie. Probably the most I've ever liked him, to be honest. Uh, I know some people are kind of split on what they did with Thor in Endgame. For me, I loved it, but um. I would have much preferred that kind of end battle Thor as the build a figure rather than this uh, depressed Thor as the build a figure. Um, so it's a bit of a bummer. However, I do really like the way that it looks. Uh, as you can see, they, you know, a lot of the f uh, companies that are making this figure don't do the body very well. Even like a uh, pop doesn't really make it very fat. The um, the Hot Toys preview that we came out didn't look great in the torso as well. This is the first one where I think they kind of nailed the proportions. He looks chubby here, but not like in a unrealistic looking way. Like this looks exactly how he looks in the movie. So I'm very happy about that. I also do like how they have the jacket um, kind of laid over the lawn sleeve shirt. There's obviously the swivel bicep joint is in there. So, but it, it still looks like there's a shirt going into the jacket, which I think looks really good. Um, the face sculpt's okay. Uh, you know, you can certainly see that it's sore, but I don't think that it, it's a great likeness, to be honest. Um, I think it could be a lot better. The pants are very uh, baggy, which I think looks really good. And he does come with his axe, even though he never uses it in this state uh, he still comes with it which is cool um, so yeah overall he looks really neat getting I wish that there was a couple of different expressions because we get two head sculpts but they've got the exact same very stern expression and uh, this is definitely not a figure that needs a stern expression I think that something a, a little funnier in the expression a smirk or a, a frown I think would have been better uh, in, in, in all honesty um, so I, I like the build a figure. I think it's just crazy that we're getting it. I think it's really cool. But again, I think they could have uh, made this a regular figure in the wave, and it would have been awesome. Or have it make it the uh, the the Thor from the end of the film and uh, make it a little bit more intricate as the build a figure. I think that would have been a lot better. But I'm still glad to get it. Then we have the uh, Mark, I believe it's the Mark 85, if I'm not mistaken. It's his final armor. I'm um, looking very cool. You know, standard Iron Man armor looks good. It's obviously a new sculpt, but uh, there's just not a whole lot to talk about with him. Um, he does come with the interchangeable gauntlet, which is kind of the Hulk size gauntlet. So I'm not sure if that's going to be able to fit onto a Hulk figure, like the Build a Figure that came out. Um, he'd be in the completely wrong clothing for it, so it's not really much of uh, of, a, of a help. Uh, but it still is kind of neat that he comes with it. Um, I wish that he came with a uh, Tony Stark head sculpt or the um, Infinity Gauntlet for like his hand, an interchangeable hand with that I think would have been really cool, but unfortunately it doesn't look like he does include that. Paint looks really nice though, especially the gold. The gold looks very shiny. Next up, we have the Iron Patriot. Now, this is really cool. Um, I did, uh, uh, I, I really like the War Machine that came out in the previous wave, which was the Build-A-Figure of a Hulk. Um, I did purchase that figure. He's a really cool looking figure, uh, but I was always disappointed that it wasn't accurate color-wise. Um, so now this is an accurate color-wise uh, rendition of the character. Um, but what's nice is it's not just a straight repaint. It's actually, it looks like there's a decent amount that's re-sculpted. I'm not 100%. I haven't done a, a really good comparison. Person. However, just looking at it, he obviously comes with the weapons uh, that are totally different from the other one. He's got uh, the rocket launchers, the kind of blasters up there. He's got these uh, thigh rockets, which I don't believe are on the last one. And then it looks like he's got a lot more weaponry around the arms. So I think some of the pieces are reused. The torso head and the 
bottom section of the legs and maybe the, the biceps, I believe, are reused, but there are a decent amount of new pieces, and obviously it's 100% a new um, paint job, and the paint job looks really good. I really like the shine to it. My only part that I don't love is the hands. They look a little cheap. I wish that they were a darker red um, or a shinier red. And not This is very dull, almost plastic red, uh, and it doesn't look like it matches some of the other red on him, so I'm not a big fan of that, but overall, I think it looks like, like a great figure. I was considering getting another War Machine figure to repaint in this more accurate color scheme, so now I don't have to, so I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy about that, to be honest. Looking really cool. And then we get Vision. Uh, finally, a Vision in a regular wave. They've done Vision once before, and it was a two-pack with uh, Scarlet Witch, and I don't know about you guys, but I never saw that one. It came out kind of as Toys R Us was going under, and it was a Toys R Us exclusive, so it was just, it was a set that um, really kind of got lost, and I think a lot of people missed out on it. This one's kind of translucent-y to, to be like more of like a vision phasing, which is okay. I would have preferred it not to be like this, um, just because I don't have a classic vision in my collection, so I would have preferred it to be more classic. However, since they already released like a classic one, I understand their reasoning for wanting to make it different. It's just, I don't think many people got that classic one at all, so it is nice that they are coming out with another one. Not loving the uh, the kind of phasing type of look, though. Wish that it, it wasn't uh, so much as like a phasing. Um, you can see the in-package images of all of them in the back there too, which is cool. And again, I'm really happy that this is a completely movie wave, as I am quite a fan of uh, the movie figures. And as you can see, this wave consists of only six figures, so it's a very basic wave, and all of them come with a build a figure piece for the Thor figure. So I think that this is a solid wave. I, I would even say it's really solid, to be honest. Um, I like it a lot. My issues with it are some of the character choices. I think that Heimdall should be swapped out for a more important character. Um, uh, I, I think that there's a lot to choose from that they could have done. I think Thor should be in his end of the movie outfit. I think that would have been a lot more important. And then I think that the Captain America should definitely come with a secondary head sculpt. Those would be the big things uh, that I would have done to improve this wave. However, for the most part, it's a solid wave. I will be getting the entire wave. The only one that I really, like, don't need is that Captain America, just because I have a version of him already. Uh, so if I can get him, like, super cheap, uh, f uh, on, e just, sorry, if I can get the build a figure piece super cheap, I'll do that. If not, I'll get this one, and it can be, like, my doppelganger one, so it's all good. So, no matter what, I think this is a solid wave. It's not a wave that really blows me away, to be honest, but it's a good wave. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what else they're going to show this was at a kind of a, a breakfast convention, or it was at San Diego Comic Con, but they do like a breakfast showing, uh, I believe they call it. They do it every year, so they um, they usually show uh, a lot of new stuff at that, and then like later in the convention they'll show some new things. Not a, not a ton, but at least some. So I would expect to see more from uh, from Hasbro um, as far as Marvel Legends concerning. Uh, but overall, I think this is a solid wave. Let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.